Hey, How, nice to meet you, Ellen. Nice to meet you, I, although I feel like I know you because Ali Wong uh, talked about you so much when she was here. I just want to remind, if people didn't see, this is her overjoyed with you. I basically made Netflix spend all this money on a movie just so I could kiss so you could Daniel kiss. Day Kim and Keanu yeah. Reeves. Yes. Now, and how did how did uh, did Keanu? Look at that! Yeah, look at that! Look at that! And then look, see, that's me kissing Keanu Kim, and then look at the picture afterward. See what you see on my face? That's joy. That is a grown woman experiencing joy right there. <laughs> she was experiencing joy with you. Well, she wasn't the only one. I got to tell you, Ali is amazing. I love her so much, and she's incredibly sweet. And for two happily married people, I got to tell you, it was it was a lot of fun being able to to, to kiss someone like her. <laughs> and your family uh, were they thrilled to hear all that? Uh, you know, <laughs> my wife is a veteran of of me being an actor, and so she knows to separate work from uh, personal. And uh, we've been together a long time, so you know she's kind of over it all. <laughs> good, good looking couple. Um, and I saw a picture of a dog watching you on on uh, TV. So your dog, does he really recognize when you're on <laughs> TV? <laughs> You know what's funny is that he never watches TV. You know, certain dogs will sit there in front of a TV as soon as it's on, but my dog throughout his entire life never did. But that moment, for some reason, he just sat in front of a TV the way I've never seen him do and just was captivated by it. And I was, you know, not even close by, so I don't know if he was missing me or, you know, what the situation was, but it, it melted my heart when I saw that photo. What's your dog's name? Kona. A sweet dog, sweet dog. Um, so you have, you also have uh, children. I, I read that you dropped your son off at college this past September. Yeah, my wife and I have two kids, uh, two boys, and our second boy uh, is a freshman uh, in college now. And so we dropped him off in New York City. Yeah, that's them. Uh, and it's hard to believe how quickly they grow, but. This fall, we dropped him off, and it was a really emotional moment because, you know, he wanted to go as far away from his family as he could and go to the big city of New York from Hawaii. And, uh, well, but the odd thing was, I ended up getting a job right after he enrolled at school, and my apartment ended up being like four blocks from his dorm. So even though he tried to escape, Hawaii came to him. Uh, I bet he did not hate that, though. I bet that he was happy to see you. You know what? I'm happy to say that that's the case. Like, yeah. you know, it's, we, we called it bonus time. You know, COVID yeah. was terrible for a lot of reasons, but one of the best parts was it brought our family back together, you know, geographically. And now, uh, you know, with him going to college, it's nice that he's not complete 5,000 miles away, but he comes over for dinner once in a while. And it's really kind of, you know, human. Yeah, yes, it's very human. Um, <laughs> let's talk about Stowaway. Tell everybody, it's a very interesting concept. Tell everybody about it. Sure, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a movie where Tony Collette, Anna Kendrick, and I play astronauts on a mission to Mars. And shortly after liftoff, we realize that uh, we're, our oxygen level is depleting quicker than we thought, and our fuel supply is depleting quicker than we thought, and we don't know why. We find out that there's someone who has stowed away on the spaceship. And once we find him, the, 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 the plot revolves around how we're going to get to Mars with an additional person on board when we don't have the oxygen or the fuel to make it there. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I, uh, before we go, I want to talk about, you're very outspoken about what's happening to Asian American and Pacific Islander communities. and. Uh, you were inspired by your son. Tell everybody what he was doing on TikTok. Well, you know, like, like a lot of folks, and parents like me, uh, you know, we leave it to our kids to kind of pave the way technologically. And my son started a TikTok account, uh, I guess about a year ago or something. And, you know, he recruited me unwittingly like so many other parents. And he would kind of poke fun at us for being old and out of touch. But he also, you know, started using his TikTok to speak out you know, about what's been going on in the Asian American, with the Asian American community and the violence involved. And so it became this really fun way of getting a message across to a generation that, you know, it would be harder for someone like me to reach. And so it was great for me to participate in all the family dances and, and things like that. And, and also just to, 
just to proudly watch him become an advocate for the community. Um, there you go. This is yeah. this is his TikTok, and you know, no one is immune from from <laughs> his secret and hidden camera. Uh, but it's it's been really great watching him grow and develop, and 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 being a part of his social media presence. Wow. Well, it is so nice meeting you, and I hope that uh, in the future, when we're able to, you're going to come here and sit next to me, and we meet in person. I would love that so much. Thanks, Ellen. Uh, thank you so much. Stowaway is available to stream on Netflix now. We'll be right back.